and welcome to our continuing series, Questions and Answers, from the works of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother. Today, the Matrimandir, Part 7. Mother, it can be hollow, it need not be solid, so that it is not too heavy. Silence. This underground entrance. One will enter a dozen meters or so away from the wall, at the foot of the urn. The urn will mark the descent. I must choose from which side exactly. And then it is possible that later the urn, instead of being outside, will be within the enclosure. So perhaps we could simply put a great wall all around, and then the gardens. Between the enclosure wall and the building we are going to make now, we could have the gardens and the urn. And that wall will have one entrance, one or several, ordinary doors. People will be able to walk in the garden. And then one should fulfill certain conditions to have the right to go down into the underground passage and come out into the temple. That must be something like an initiation, not just like that, no matter how. Silence. I said to A, we will see in twenty years. So that calmed him down. But the first idea was to surround it with water, to make an island, so that one would have to cross the water to be able to reach the temple. It is quite possible to make an island. 17 January 1970 Mother, what did you want to tell me? Disciple, I had a visit from C and G. There are two things. But first there is the plan of the center, more precisely, of the outside of the center. Mother, the outside, I have seen nothing. There is a sketch, it is a sketch by F. I did not see anything at all, and I am open to all suggestions. And then? Disciple, C explained something to me, which I found very beautiful, which I would like to submit to you. Disciple, when you spoke about this center, as a matter of fact, for the outside you said, I don't know if the walls will be sloping or if it is the roof which will slope. You seem to have some hesitation. So C says that he received a kind of inspiration, and that he has seen something very simple, like a great shell, one part of which would come out of the surface, and another part which would be buried in the ground. And he has drawn a sort of diagram, which I would like to show you. Mother, have they seen A too? Because A had two ideas. He came to see me with two ideas, and I told him which of the two I preferred. But nothing is decided yet, and A is to make a sketch of his ideas. So I will see what C says, and then I will tell you A's idea. E unrolls the plan. So you see, here is the outside, which would be simply like a shell. The inside is exactly as you have seen it, this great bare carpet, and then the ball at the center. And what led C to his inspiration was that you had said one should go underground and come up again. So he had the idea of going deep down to make a spiral 
staircase here, which would come up again, and here there would be a kind of series of stairs branching out in all directions in the lower part of the shell, which would lead into the temple itself. So all the lower part would be in black marble, and all the upper part in plain white marble. And the whole thing is like a great bud, you see, as if it were growing out of the earth. Mother says, Are you sure that he hasn't seen A? Because A told me, I want to make a great circle. The interior is an exact semicircle, and the other semicircle would be underground. He used almost the same word.